There was Lassie, then Snoopy, and even Scooby. And now, breaking norms left and right, is Bluey. And the proud, happy member of the Healer family is the star of our drawing lesson. So today we'll be drawing Bluey. And I know this is a big one for parents, so I'll hopefully make a few grown-ups happy out there. And when we draw, we start off very lightly. And the first thing I'd like you to draw is a rectangle that'll be up and down. So it'll be longer on the sides, but the corners are going to be rounded. So you're going to do sort of a bubble letter rectangle. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to draw two triangles with curved tops. So they won't be pointy at the top, but kind of like the bubble letter rectangle. And they won't meet in the middle. They'll have a little bit of space in between them too. Then give her two triangles in between, and those triangles can be pointy at the top, to give her her ears. Then we can give Louie her nose. And that'll just start off with a short, soft line about a quarter way down from the ears. And then it'll hook down to my favorite letter, the letter J. And that hook will curve just a little past that short line. The next thing you'll do, you'll give her her actual nose, which is a triangle pointing down, but with the corners curved just like before. And then you can go ahead and shade that nose in for her, almost to the top. Then give her a little dimple for her smile right at the top of that hook, which is just a little half C. Then we'll give an oval that starts almost in the middle of the nose, but just a little to the right, and it'll go nice and round. It'll stop right on the right side of that J. Then we give her another oval, more like a backwards D. And the corners, again, will be very curved and very soft. So you'll go up and then around, and this one actually makes a full, complete shape. Now Bluey can almost see, but she needs a couple more things. So now just to make her pupils would be two ovals, one here in the middle toward the bottom, and darken that in nice and small. And that right pupil can overlap a little bit, or I should say underlap, but still doesn't quite look like Bluey, does she? Because she is missing her eyebrows. And the shapes I want you to use for those are two flat ovals, kind of like hot dogs, no pun intended, that'll overlap the bottoms of her ears a bit, just above those ovals for her eyes. And we can even erase all those lines in between. Now, Bluey has a lot of patches, so one will go almost through the left eye, one here, and meet back up above the eye and touch the top of that line by the ears. Same thing on this side, and the same one going the opposite direction, and as if it would go through this eye, back up to here, like so. She also has a very light line that goes around her mouth and her nose and meets back around the corner of the dimple, and another light one around the first one. Now we can give Bluey her belly, which is just a small, short hill. Now we'll give two lines for the arms, one down to the right, one down to the left, and they'll be kind of even with the top of that hill. And for the fingers, we'll give three short bumps, one, two, three, and a backwards letter J for the thumb that'll meet back up to Bluey's torso. And you're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, And Bluey needs to run, so we'll give her four lines for her legs. One, two, three, four. And underneath those legs, I'd like you to give her her feet, which are two hills, touching the bottoms of those lines. One, two. And for the bottoms of her feet, I'd like you to make two flat letter U's that got sat on. And the ends of those letter U's will meet each of those lines, so that way we can close off her feet. And let's go ahead and give Bluey her toes, which are kind of hooks. So for the left foot, you're gonna have one line 
starting up and then hooking to the right and then another one hooking to the left. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. One hook to the right, one hook to the left. And to finish out those paws, we'll give her two lines just above the feet. Same thing for her hands. As far as her patches, two half circles here. One, two. You can darken those in. Darken in all the spots that you know Bluey to have. And it looks like she's just missing one more thing and that'll be her tail. And all that is, is a curved line going out from the left. And on the end of that tail, one, two, three, are three bumps that will meet right back up with her fingers. And one curved line, and then you can shade in that left space. And there you go, friendly artists. So all those who are out there, friendly readers, parents, guardians, and grown-ups, hope you guys had a great time drawing with me, and as always, I'll see you next time. Hey, friendly readers, if you like what you see, please hit like and subscribe. And if you're feeling generous, just click on the button where you can donate, and then you can contribute to produce more things like read-alouds, drawing tutorials, virtual field trips, cartoons, and more. Just go to StoryJ Storytime, and I'll see you next time.